Today we're going to inspect the hydraulic cylinder assembly in your Gilson testing screen. The Gilson testing screens are rugged tough machines that will provide years of service if installed and maintained correctly. On Gilson testing screens with hydraulic clamping, the hydraulic cylinders apply force to the clamp rods which secure the screen trays within the unit. If your machine loses clamping pressure during operation, or if you frequently need to add hydraulic oil, inspect the hydraulic cylinders for wear. To inspect the hydraulic cylinder assembly on your Gilson testing screen, you first disconnect the unit from its power source. Remove the pump handle grip. Next, remove the top and side covers to the machine and safely set them aside. Note the short load line to the electronic controller. Rest the side cover aside to avoid placing stress on the load line. It's important to examine the interior of the unit while you have it open. Check for leaked hydraulic fluid or excessively worn parts. Now, return the pump handle grip to the pump handle. Next, Clean the interior of the unit as to prevent foreign material from falling into the pump and contaminating the oil later. Now disconnect the hose from one of the hydraulic cylinders, leaving the other end of the hose connected to the pump. Place the free end of the hose into a clean container at a level that will allow gravity to empty the system of oil. Pump the handle slowly to drain the hydraulic oil from the system. Now we're going to take the pump cover off the pump. Observe the hydraulic pump and the position of the pump cover. The bottom of the vent in the pump cover has a bevel that must face the front of the machine. Use a marker or other means to mark the front end of the cover to ensure correct orientation during reassembly later. Remove the pump cover assembly, including cover, gasket, and screws and safely set them aside in a clean area. If there is sludge in the bottom of the pump reservoir, remove the pump from the machine and clean it out as described in your operating manual's hydraulic pump section. Next, we're going to remove the cylinder cap. Keep pressure on the cap with your hand as you remove the three screws. Now release the pressure of your hand slowly so the compressed spring does not suddenly pop out. Remove the cap and spring and safely set it aside. Next, remove the side access panel near the machine's base. Grasp the lower section of the clamp rod with vice grips. Now, unscrew the clamp rod hex jam nut within the cylinder. Now, pull the rest of the cylinder up and off the clamp rod. Examine the piston in the two quad rings. One fits in a groove on the piston flange and the other fits inside the piston. Replace quad rings if you find hydraulic oil above the flange on the piston. Very rarely will the cylinder o-ring need to be replaced. If it is deemed to be necessary to replace the quad rings or the o-ring, Follow the hydraulic cylinder inspection and repair instructions in your operating manual. For this demonstration, we are not replacing the quad rings or O-ring, nor are we removing the pistons from the cylinder. Next, reassemble the hydraulic cylinder assembly by sliding the cylinder and base assembly onto the upper end of the hydraulic clamp rod. Next, install the jam nut and tighten it. Unclamp the lower section of the clamp rod and return the side access panel. Now, insert the spring and place the cap on the spring. Apply downward pressure on the cap as you secure the three cylinder cap screws to the cylinder. Next, reattach the hydraulic hoses. Fill the pump reservoir with hydraulic fluid to within one quarter inch from the top. Once you have confirmed the hydraulic oil is a quarter inch from the top, reinstall the pump cover assembly in the same orientation as it was before its removal. 
pump up pressure on the hydraulic system with short strokes on the pump handle. Now release the pressure by moving the handle all the way towards the front of the machine. Next, remove the pump cover and add more hydraulic oil, if necessary, to fill the pump reservoir to within a quarter inch from the top. Once you have confirmed the hydraulic oil is a quarter inch from the top, reinstall the pump cover assembly. Now we are going to bleed the air out of the hydraulic system. Loosen the connections between the hoses and the cylinders by unscrewing the swivel connections slightly. Pump up the hydraulic system until oil appears at the loosened connections. Now retighten the swivel connections. Once tightened, pump the hydraulic system to confirm that all fittings are free of leaks. If the fittings leak, use hydraulic joint compound to create a seal between each leaky fitting and the pump or cylinder to which it is attached. Now return the top and side covers and the pump handle grip. After fully reassembling the unit with covers installed, run the unit empty for a few minutes. The Gilson testing screen should run freely and quietly. For any questions about the hydraulic system of your Gilson testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.